So in CUDA, a stream is a sequence of operations that will execute in order on the GPU. And the particular operations we care about are memory transfers and kernel launches. If I perform a CUDA mem copy async, launch kernel A, then perform a second CUDA mem copy async, and then launch kernel B, then each operation completes before the next starts. So the first mem copy happens, then kernel A runs to completion, then the second mem copy happens, and then the second kernel runs. But if I do those same operations, and this time I put them each in a different stream by adding a parameter which is the stream, then now these operations can potentially run concurrently, therefore completing in much less time. So this operation is in stream 1, this operation is in stream 2, this operation is in stream 3, this operation is in stream 4. Since we didn't specify a stream for any of these, we would say that they are in the default stream which happens to be stream 0. A couple of notes. A CUDA stream object is of type CUDA stream underscore t. For example, here we declare a stream of, called s1. You create streams using the CUDA stream create call, passing in a pointer to the stream you want to create. And you destroy them by calling CUDA stream destroy. And remember, to get asynchronous memory transfers, you need to be using CUDA mem copy async, which in turn must be called on pinned host memory.